is scary. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, class of 2023, families, friends, faculty, and staff, and welcome to the celebration of the beginning of our adulthood. My name is Sienna Burns, and I'm honored to be speaking today as one of three salutatorians of this class. Today I'm going to be talking about resiliency, something our class knows especially well. Through our four years here, we've experienced all of what life can throw at a person as a collective group, but more importantly, as individuals. Pacifica's class of 2023 has seen some of the most trying times while attempting to meet Pacifica's motto of thinking and living well. Starting in our freshman year, we experienced the loss of sophomore Tristan Sanchez weeks before the pandemic officially began. Although most of us still barely knew each other, we found ourselves coming together to support and grieve with each other. Less than three weeks later, we were shut away from one another and were no longer allowed to grieve in the ways we had or bond in the ways we knew how. We entered lockdown as freshmen in 2020 and didn't come out of it until we were sophomores in 2021, 13 months later. In what was one of the most uncertain times of our lives, we learned to appreciate the wins where we could find them and take advantage of every good opportunity we were met with. Despite being stuck in our rooms, we found unique ways of forming friendships and deep relationships with each other via FaceTime, texting, Instagram, and even Google Meet. From the beginning of high school, we have learned what it means to be resilient. In the face of adversity, we were able to continue to push ourselves to persevere. The word resiliency has synonyms associated with it like plasticity and elasticity. These words make it seem as though to be resilient means to bend so far one might not be able to get back up. However, the true meaning of resiliency is quite the opposite. I associate it with the word grit. In my room, there's a poster of Brian Anthony's definition of grit. The poster reads, in her willingness to bend but never break, and in her courage to believe that the darkness can't hold her as long as she continues to create her own light, she is just like a pearl, made from grit but full of grace. This description is, I feel, shared between grit and resiliency, and that to be resilient means to be steadfast in one's experiences and be able to be flexible in withstanding any and all trials one faces. When we call someone resilient, we mean that despite all that life has handed to them, they remain strong in who they are and what they are hoping to achieve. I have had my fair share of having to realize what resiliency is and how to achieve it. From the beginning of high school, my dad had been very sick with what we thought was Parkinson's disease. He quickly became limited in his motor functions, he struggled to do anything that required movement on his own, and he lost some of the biggest parts of himself. He was no longer able to be a dad in the traditional sense. He couldn't drive, work, walk, get dressed, and sometimes eat by himself. His speech became incomprehensible, and he spent his days sitting in his wheelchair in the corner of our living room until someone could help him do whatever he needed to do. During the time of being in lockdown, there had been many instances in which I was late to online class because my dad needed my undivided attention, or I'd be so focused on my home life, I couldn't switch into my school life. As a family, we had to learn how to better care for him while still maintaining a life. It was during this time that I had to grow up and essentially become an adult in my household while trying to still hold on to my youth. In our junior year, my dad was re-diagnosed with a rarer and more severe condition called MSA, which could not be treated. My dad took this news as a death sentence, and he was unable to maintain his optimism. Unfortunately, after a quiet Christmas together my fam uh, with my family, my dad unexpectedly passed in his sleep the morning of December 30th, 2021. Although he had been sick for many years, we still were not prepared for this loss. Having had a sick dad from the start of high school and then losing him in what is considered to be the most critical high school year tested my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual strength. Each year of high school felt as though the finish line kept moving farther away and the trek got steeper. Everything in my life was altered due to what was happening at home, and only a select few truly knew what was going on, while even fewer got to witness it. This journey for me and my family was an unforeseen one, and I had to learn what it meant to take on more responsibilities and how to cope. I threw myself into school to get away from my grief, which most likely set me into a position of standing here speaking to you all today as salutatorian. Yet my accomplishments in and out of school are only amplified by the fact that I am someone who had consecutive struggles that built on each other from age 13 to now. This is what I know to be resiliency. I've seen some version of this struggle in the class of 2023 as a whole, whether it be because of COVID, struggles within families, school, relationships, or friendships. We've been dealt a not so lucky set of cards, yet we have persevered. When we came back to school after lockdown, we all went through some kind of shift that changed us. 
We all came back to school a little tougher, a little more ready to face whatever else was in store for us, a little less willing to deal with the parts of life that are trivial and taxing. In these 13 months of uncertainty, we experienced many variations of a social life, a school life, the ways in which we form friendships, and the standards of success we hold ourselves to. We have had to become okay with constant change, adapting time and time again to the things that are hard. Our journey together has been full of inconsistencies, and nothing could be counted on. Our school lives went through many variations of being online to a, school in its, uh, to a year in a semester, to coming back to school and finally settling on the regular semester model, while the other aspects of our lives were changing as well. While these moments of having to adapt were hard and stressful, they ultimately matured us and taught us how to be strong. These experiences have shown us how to accept our circumstances with grace and how to be unsurprised by all that life can test us with. Resiliency, though, can only really be achieved well by having a community of people supporting you and pushing you to remain steadfast. I'm grateful for, Pacific, for, excuse me, for Pacifica giving us this community. Mr. Comer coached us through freshman history in AP Euro, demanding the pursuit of excellence in everything we did. Ms. Miller and Mrs. Savage gave us their powerful words of encouragement and showed us how to use our own powerful words to express ourselves. Mr. Sims gave us a space to feel all the feels, whether it be on the stage or in his office. Mr. Freeborn and Mr. McCulloch gave us two to three hours a week of talking about God, fishing, and baseball, whilst Branderson, Mr. Anderson, Ms. Liberty, and Mr. Balsey became resources of creativity and expression. There are many more members of the Pacifica community that have impressed themselves onto my life, and all of these people became landmarks of stability and grace in a time when I needed it most. They made themselves available to me and guided me through the most trying and exhausting period of my life. It is here that I learned how to develop resiliency, and it is this community that showed me how. This group of students has achieved many great things in our four years here, which is only heightened by our experiences. We have all mourned something, whether it be friends, bonds, people, grades, activities, drive, or just life as it was when we came into this school in 2019. We have felt challenged, pushed to our limits. We felt that we're not enough, or that where we are in life isn't the image of success. But my hope for the class of 2023 is that we are able to reflect on what we have achieved in the face of adversity. I pray that we might be able to take what we have learned and experienced in our little community to realize that the last four years have not been easy, but have in fact been way more challenging than what we signed up for. Whether we learn this in college or beyond, I know that there will be at least one moment in our lives, perhaps in a moment of nostalgia, that we will feel proud of what we did here and all that we have had to overcome. In the moments of deep pain or uncertainty, we all made it to the end, and we're about to cross a big finish line. I hope that we can look around and see that no one is the same from freshman year, because we've all developed a resilient mindset, and this development is what will carry us through the rest of our lives. The challenging things certainly do not end with high school, but we've been blessed with being able to have learned what it means to be resilient in this community that is willing to teach us how. In closing, I'd like to thank my family for giving me consistent support in all that we've endured together, but I especially thank my mom. You took on a role of being two parents in one and have never wavered in your abilities and tenacity. It is you who taught me how to be resilient, and I love that I have inherited your fiery spirit that isn't easily settled. And although he is not here, I also thank my dad for all that he gave me while he was here. He gave me all the love, attention, and devotion he could, supported me in the best ways he knew how, and showed me what a life well-lived and loved is. Finally, I'd like to thank the administration and student body for teaching me what true Christianity should look, sound, and be like, as well as how one should treat others. Thank you for showing me the importance of standing up for what you believe in and how if you speak up when faced with an injustice and are not heard, get louder. Thank you. Mm -hmm.